Hello and welcome to this video based on the EEF guidance report to improving mathematics in key stages 2 and 3, this time looking at recommendation 6, use tasks and resources to challenge and support pupils' mathematics. Tasks and resources are just tools. They will not be effective if they are used inappropriately by the teacher. Use assessment of pupils' strengths and weaknesses to inform your choice of task. Use tasks to address pupil misconceptions and provide examples and non-examples of concepts. Use stories and problems to help pupils understand mathematics. Use tasks to build conceptual knowledge in tandem with procedural knowledge. And technology is not just a silver bullet, it has to be used judiciously and less costly resources may be just as effective. To summarise, tasks are critical to the learning of mathematics because the tasks used in the classroom largely define what happens there. However, the, the evidence suggests that the choice of one particular task or resource over another is less important than the way the, teacher, the teachers set about using them in the classroom. Tasks and resources are tools which need to be deployed effectively to have a positive impact on learning. Effective use of tasks and resources requires a considerable level of skill. Many teachers will require focus support to achieve this and school leaders should make this a priority for CPD. There is advice for each one of these considerations along with examples in the full report. I won't show you them all now, but here's a couple for you to get a taste. Here's an example of how to discuss and compare different solution approaches. A teacher asked the class to come up with different ways of calculating 5 times 18. Here are some of their approaches. I can multiply 5 by 20, then take two 5s away. 5 times 18 equals 5 times 20, subtract 5 times 2, which equals 100, subtract 10, which equals 90. Another, another approach is to multiply by 5 is easy. I can multiply by 10, then halve the answer. 10 times 18 is 180. 180 divided by 2 is 90. Another approach, 18 is 9 times 2, so I can multiply 5 by 9, then multiply the answer by 2. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 times 2 is 90. The class discussed what similarities there were, how easy each method was to understand, and how efficient it was to execute mentally. The teacher then asked the class to try and find similar ways to calculate 12 times 15. Here's an example of how to use tasks to build conceptual knowledge in tandem with procedural knowledge. A teacher asked the class to perform this calculation using long multiplication, 34 times 52. The teacher then asked the pupils to move the digits around to produce a new two-digit by two-digit multiplication, for example, 53 times 24. She asked them to find the arrangement that gives the largest answer. This task provided opportunities for pupils to rehearse the long multiplication algorithm, which is the procedural knowledge, whilst at the same time developing conceptual understanding of place value. Thanks for watching. And look out for the next video about the use of structured interventions to provide additional support.